healthy summer vacation for some, but for those running for higher office in New Hampshire, like former Portsmouth yeah, Mayor Steve Marchand, it is a very busy time of year. Welcome back. Mr. Marchand is a Democrat while running for governor, and he's in a three-man race up against former Securities Bureau Chief Mark Connolly and Executive Counselor Colin Van Ostern. And he's joining us here today for our weekend interview segment. Mr. Marchand, thanks for being with us. Great to see you. Thank you. For starters, tell us just a little bit about yourself. Sure. I'm a Manchester born and bred guy, first generation American. I uh, was a mayor of Portsmouth, still live there with my wife and two daughters. Uh, used to audit cities for a living and was director of corporate relations at UNH. So I've got this reputation for being kind of a fiscally conservative, socially progressive kind of guy. You're well known as the detail-oriented policy kind of guy, as you yeah. just noted. How would you approach, if you were still the mayor of Portsmouth, this thorny issue with Black Lives Matter versus police, which has become very polarized? Well, the first thing is, uh, too often we're making it feel like you have to choose. Uh, we respect both and we respect all people, but if we're going to do that, we need to acknowledge that people of color, in this case African Americans, uh, have uh, start with a lot of challenges from centuries of injustice. And so we need to acknowledge that and unfortunately we have evidence to the present day where evidence of injustice continues to exist. But we can also say that our members in, the, in blue and police and fire and others, what they're doing is a, a extremely difficult and important work. So there needs to be respect for all and acknowledge you can be for one and, and march and protest and not be against somebody else. Would you sign body camera legislation requiring it for all de departments in New Hampshire if it came to your desk? I think that's a good move. I think that can do a lot to help rebuild trust, uh, which is, I think, at the core of a lot of the anxiety people have in almost all of our major institutions, including law enforcement. What is one thing that would change day one if you were Governor Steve Marchand? Yeah, look, I'm a data guy, as we mentioned, and I think that we can look at whether it's the opiate uh, uh, crisis we face, pre-K through 12 public education, the way we fund infrastructure, especially the school building aid program, and making this the most entrepreneur-friendly state in America. A lot of these are things where we look at data, we look at what the price tag is, the most efficient way to do so, and it has to be done in a bipartisan way if we're gonna be successful, and use data to help us get there. If we do that, we build the trust to make it a successful budget uh, period in that first six months in office. You were the first candidate to say you would support the decriminalization of small amounts of marijuana. Uh, what's the rationale behind that? Well, let me take it a step further. I would legalize marijuana. Uh, and I'm the only candidate saying that. There are a number of benefits. Number one, there are medical benefits to it. 80% of people who use heroin started on prescription opiates. Marijuana, medical, and other, and other metal, uh, marijuana uh, related products can take people off of that train that leads them from prescription opiates to heroin, so health benefits. Number two uh, is I think it can lower costs for law enforcement, incarceration, and judicial branch, uh, and allow them to spend the time doing what they need to be doing. The third thing is, as we find in states like Colorado and Washington, it generates a significant amount of revenue, which is, unlike my opponents, I'm willing to say there are some things we need to pay for. I'll tell you how much they cost. It's education, it's infrastructure, it's battling the opiate uh, struggle, and it's uh, making this the most pro-entrepreneur new business state in America. How do we pay for it? One of the ways is the legalization of marijuana. All right, Steve Marchand, Democrat, running for governor. Good to get to know you a little bit better on the air. Thank you very much. All right, let's head over to weather.